In this video, I'm going to show you on how to find the value of Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient by using Casio FX570 EX. Okay, consider the following example. Now I have the values for x and y. x represent the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. Calculate the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. Okay, first thing first, we need to reset the setting and the memories, the data memories inside our calculator. Press shift button, followed by number 9, okay, and then press number 3 to reset all, and then press equal for yes, and then pre press AC button to clear the screen of this calculator. Okay, next, press shift button, followed by setup button. This is the setup button. And then press arrow down button. Okay, and then press number three for statistics. Okay, now I need to press button two to turn off the frequency. Okay, because in this data, in this example, we just have the values for X and Y without the frequency value. So we need to turn off the frequency. Press button two. Okay, next step, press menu button. Okay, and then we need to choose function number 6 because function number 6 is for statistics. Okay, press button 6. Okay, and then we need to press number 2 for y equals to a plus bx because this one is, uh, is related to regression equation. Okay, so we need to... Press button 2. Okay, the next step is we need to key in our X and Y values into this calculator. Okay, so for our X value, okay, start with 80. Okay, and then press equal to save this data. And then we have 70, 60, 35, 80, and the last one is 48. Okay, next step, we need to key in the dependent variable, the y variable. These are our y values. So the first one is 50 equal 60 equal 80 and then 40 and then we have 75 and the last one we have 60 equal. Okay, now I can press this AC button to clear the screen of the calculator. Okay, now the next step, okay, I want to obtain the summation values from this calculator, okay, because to calculate for the correlation value, correlation coefficient value, this is the formula of R. R represents the correlation coefficient value, okay. We need to have the value for N, summation of XY, summation X, summation Y, summation s square and also summation of y square so we need to obtain these six values from the calculator okay press optn button option button okay and then press number two for variable calculator okay now the first value that we have here is summation of x so summation of x is 373 Okay, the next one, we have summation of x square. Okay, it is 24829. 24,829. Okay, the next value, you need to press this arrow down button. Okay, the next one, as you can see here, we have n. n is equal to 6. Okay, and then we have the value of summation of y. Total of y. 365 okay and then we have summation of y square 23325 okay next value that we need is summation of xy okay just press again this arrow down button okay this one right here this is summation of xy 23280 
Okay, and then we can substitute these six values into the formula of R. Okay, because we need to show this uh, important step. Okay, next we want to obtain the final answer of R. Okay, we can get that final answer from this calculator. Okay, clear the screen first. Press AC button to clear the screen. And then press op PTN button, option button. Okay, and then press number 3 for regression calculator. Okay, so now we have three values, A, B and R for Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. It is the value of R. So as stated here, R is equal to 0 0.43. Four 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 five six one zero five. Okay, so this is our R value. Okay, this is the final answer for correlation coefficient value.